Well, here we go. Another exciting, stimulating, stealth digger day. Keebs, we are in a rather special place to us because this yeah. is where generally you dropped your first clump. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what the hell did I just step in? <laughs> For Christ's sake. And Tim is here and Dame is here and I'm here. But this time we're not going beyond the clump. We're going before the before. clump. Yes. And we better stop and assess the situation before we get too far. Although we've worked this area quite a few times in the past, we're looking for a cellar hole that we missed that Keebs' son had found and gave us the info. So we're going looking. Wow. I can see why we would have missed it. Yeah. They don't get much smaller than that. All right, time to get this thing started. Plenty of glass shards and stuff right out on the ground. Window glass. Definitely occupied. This is 1800s glass, too. It's about 30 feet off from the cellar hole. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, uh, still got the swinger there, but. That came off a trunk, probably. That's a very cool relic. Yeah. So it's literally like an hour later. We're having a not good time here. I just figured I'd crack the ground open because we're seeing lots of stuff and things. And I cracked the ground open and this beautiful little sharpening stone. Well worn. Popped out and Dame is off in the distance saying nice. Never mind. What is it? An acorn? I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. And this is actually the third one I've ever found. But it's uh Oh yeah. Perfect. God that actually feels better than the one I use at home. So, I will take that gladly. That's awesome. So I'm gonna crack the ground open a little bit more just to see what the hell's in here. Keeps us yeah. <laughs> feel enthusiastic about it too. Analog. That's right, analog. Yeah, I would do it. <laughs> yeah. Is this what you're going on nice about? Yeah, it, from, you know, from that, in the dirt, it looked like a musket ball. Yeah. It ain't. It's plastic inside it. It's some sort of shotgun load. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Doesn't that feel beautiful? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna poke around. I don't know if you want to join me, but you know, it's about the best of uh, options. Yeah, yeah, I'll go analog. I've had enough orbit. All right, so we're digging pits and been finding some amazing pieces of window glass, big. Look at all them waves, right? So I'm getting down pretty deep here. And I just found the sole of a shoe. That is awesome. Beautiful. Chilling, isn't it? That is incredible. 10 inches in the lip. 
What'd you get? I don't know. Mm. Came off something. Pretty quiet oh, yeah. coming out of next to the house, huh? Hmm. Is that di uh, with your machine? Yeah. Oh, you got your cool. audio off. No, that's, that's an applied top. Yeah. It's, def it's definitely different than the first one I got. And melted. Yeah. Just spot a little itty bitty itty bitty piece of something and this is why I love analog digging oh I see it Your foot down, huh? pipe stem that is fantastic amazing how little itty bitty pieces of things can they're all there somewhere yeah but it's just that's so rewarding to know you did that just by Straight up digging. Oh. Nice, you're getting good at pulling scythe blades out of lips. Look at that though, seriously, right where we were scanning. Yeah. We have found more in the last 15 minutes than we did the first hour and 15. Cool. Door hinge. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. With nail. With nail. Now your pit's looking good. Thanks, man. Well, we went analog for about an hour. Knuckles are getting tight. Yep. Uh, some cool glass. The sharpening stone. Wow. That's going to actually stay in my bag for use. Perfect. <laughs> it is. Uh, the pipe stem, your scythe blade, hinge, the hinge, my blob top, my applied top, assorted pile of cool glass. Yeah, we did better doing that. Yeah, and we have no idea what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Oh, Keebs is re-entering. He's probably looking for my radio. So, all right. So if you've been wondering where Keebs has been. He's been looking for Charlie's radio. Well, he did find a button. You, me, yeah. Yeah. We may have to return to the clump for radio retrieval. Could be there. How's Tim doing? Nothing. Nothing? 8081? Yeah. Nice, we just came back over to where the vehicles are and figured we'd tickle for a second. Oh, no. Yep. Uh, Anheuser or? Uh, I don't know, but it is wedged in roots. So we've been here to this hole. This is right, right out near the one we were just working. And Keebs and I, I don't recall us finding much. And I'm just walking along. That's right. Right on the surface. Oh, sweet! How deep was that? Surface. Okay. <laughs> so you've been yuking it up like a madman? Oh, yeah. What are the last two songs that you learned? Baby Shark. Baby Shark, okay. It's big, big hit. And the other one um, would have been Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor, cool. Channel's doing good? Really good. Good. 1,300 subscribers. Nice. Maybe uh, we'll get a few more from Stealth Diggers. It's always good. Yeah, we'll plug your channel again. It's been a while. <clears throat> Mr. Keebler. <laughs> Can't miss it. Keebler. We're also near the infamous Try It Now. 
uh, scene with the kit, yeah. And also, I think it was our first uh, uh, time travel with kit. Are you talking about a visual of the van? We were sitting in the van, then we were sitting at the hall. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, we're going to have to go back, like we said, to the uh, place where he clumped earlier and see if we can find the radio. And I don't know. Might be worth it just to swing there for a few minutes. At that hole? Well, we're gonna yeah. move and go. I mean, Dame and I need food badly, but oh, we got meat sticks. Ma, ma, ma. All, right. All right, so we've relocated. Keeps is returning to the stink spot. <laughs> I'm gonna swing for a few. Yeah, me too. Just maybe we'll dumb luck some more buttons. You got something? Suspension in the leaf cover. Oh, wow. Chrome plated, even. Hmm. I think anything would be found. Yeah, just right in these leaves. Good. Yeah. Alright, although we're digging lots of sheet metal, flashing, bear cans, this one signal is different. And those numbers at 84, a solid 85, that's worth looking into. When you get to these cellar holes that were occupied late, the junk is just atrocious. Not to mention, pull off the road here and people just are messy. But I like 85s. <laughs> you just never know. Really? I saw that blue glass back there. So, you know, bear cans flashing. Oh yeah. But what would you do if you heard a clean 85? Well, I heard you from over there. That's why I started walking over. Oh, wow, that's thick, huh? Unreal. You want me to? Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Maybe it's another, uh... Maybe. it's thick. It is thick. Oh, that's a large thing. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a date. Look. Let me see. This way. Yep. 1840-something? 45. <laughs> see? You just never know. We literally... We came back over here, obviously, to try to find the radio, which I don't know if it's been found. Keebs and I were here four or five years ago. Didn't find much. I just figured I'd... Yeah swing where people park perfect good job man that's gonna that dries out you're gonna get a lot on that <laughs> stars and all i found something interesting you did people been analog digging and just tearing huge holes and putting aside the glass that they don't like yeah. cure for the consumption oh yeah yeah tuberculosis right there or was it the cure for if you were an alcoholic? No, consumption. You drank opium. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. The but consumption was. It was it was tuberculosis before they called you know because. They, oh, because it consumed your. Yeah, it was just uh, drained them out and then coughing and. Oh. oh. It was a uh, wild Bill Hickok. He had the tuberculosis. That's why he moved out west. Huh. Cool. Well, thanks for the factoids. Yeah. I found a penny. Oh, yeah. That's not good. <laughs> no. So, so um, it's got to be at the other side because I went right to the spot where you radioed me. Yeah. And then I told Tim, I'm going to go right to that wall because it's really nicely stacked. I'm going to hit that. Then. Huh. And then uh, there was the clump and it wasn't there. Hmm. Well, I just did a little bit of a, you know, walk through. It was. Bear can, sheet metal, bear can, bear can, sheet metal. What? <laughs> what? Right there. Wow. A beautiful 85 signal. Wow. You just never know, right? You never know. So, with that, we are probably done for the day. We need nutrition, but we're going to head back to the shack because we got SDN stuff to do with you. Thank you. Thank you. 
first order of business, we want to give a shout out to our stealth sister, Steph. She does the find of the week, find of the month in the SDN Tangent, Facebook group, yeah. which is a huge thing to take care of. Right. That's a lot of work. She has her own YouTube channel now. Ooh. Yeah, it's called Steph Diggs. And we advise you to go check it out. I'll put a link, you know, down in the info and stuff. And uh, hit the subscribe button. Steph is a very dedicated detectorist and a value to SDN. So, absolutely. Check out her channel and. Uh... Here, here. Yes. All right. Packages. Packages. Do you want to open the small one or the big one first? small you want to go small, small. We'll all go right small. this one is from Nicole she is a patron to SD NT she's in New Jersey she digs lots of cool things it's not only small but it's like a duplex nice. oh, yes duplex. so somebody it has cryptic numbers on it mm. Don't get your head too close oh, oh what do we got? yeah me the jerky mm. Oh yeah, bacon. Oh, is it bacon jerky? Oh, good stuff. Oh, Hillbilly yeah. beef. Yeah, that's a, that's a cow deer. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Oh, stick. Yeah, we like meat sticks. Beef. Beef. Central hickory. Uh, salmon. salmon. Yummy. Is it salmon? No. <laughs> oh, beef. <laughs> Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for some meat. Well, thank you, Nicole. That was so really extremely nice of you, and this will definitely go the distance. We like meat sticks around here. Yeah. A lot of meat sticks around here. That's right. <laughs> Good thing about these is they come out as they go in. <laughs> yeah, with coffee, it's even a little bit more. Uh... Yeah. Anyways, this comes from Jeff Byers. He uh, is a devoted watcher. He emailed me asking me some questions about the blood sucking situation yeah. out in the woods. And it happens. Made some suggestions and said, I will just send them to you. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, go ahead, read it up. Hello to all the track. I hope this helps out a bit. Thanks for all you guys and gals do to entertain us. Good hunting and deep digging, Jeff. That's right. It's like equipment. Oh, oh yeah. no way. Scare them away. These are, if you guys... Repellents. If you guys remember correctly, and Jen is going to be thrilled about this, when Chris and Chris Helmy were here, they had these. And if you remember, Jen wore one on her side and was able to stay uh -huh. out in the woods the whole day with us because it actually worked. Wow. So yeah, you put these uh, little canisters on. And, uh -huh. and it heats them up. 12 hours and it, it fumigates and keeps the bugs away from you. Awesome. He swears by them and we all we saw that it actually did work on Chris and Chrissy right here. Right. Well, thank you Jeff, thank you Nicole, and thank you Steph and the rest of SDN. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. All right everybody, well that's it. Hope you enjoyed the, the day with us. Funny how things turn out, right? If Keebs had not lost that radio, we would not have gone back and I would not have found that large scent. So, just meant to be. We'll see you soon. Till next time, stay young. Always keep them guessing. Most importantly, live free or die. I'll leave it on for you, Tim. That saved us $450. Yeah. Hole? The hole's right there. 30 feet from the hole. Song in the 70s, 30 feet from the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I just left Dame and he says he's stuck. Pow! Oh, they are thorns. I can't, I can't reach that. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man. Now, hold on. Hold on, I need the tool. Oh! Oh, wow, man.
Oh, oh. It, 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 it's, there's like one. I can feel them all across my damn shoulders. All right, hold on. Okay, right, hold on. Just one. Ah! Oh. I thought I'd get in there where people don't go. 